Nine year old Madhvendra Pratap Sharma, the current under nine national champion, takes on the head of chess base India Hindi Niklesh Jain. It's the Scandinavian, one of Niklesh's favorite opening. He takes with the queen, knight c3. Now, queen a5 or queen d6 are main moves, but he goes all the way back and both players blitzing out their moves. They know this opening pretty well. Madhvendra plays h3. Now, he has the bishop pair. But Niklesh has a very solid position. He puts his bishop out on d6 and long castle. Brave play by the 9-year-old boy. Knight bd7. And now g4. There he goes. First, he connects his rooks. Second, he starts pushing his pawns. Already, Niklesh is in some trouble because if he castles short, his king can come under attack. So, he plays his queen to a5, prepares long castling if it's possible. Madhvendra now plays his bishop back to b3. And Niklesh plays his knight to d5. He, for the time being, wants to keep his king in the center. And Madhvendra plays a nice move. He plays knight e4, attacks the bishop. The bishop has to move back. And now, if he plays b4, c4, then the knight can jump here. So he finds this very nice move, bishop d2, first hitting the queen. And now he can go c4. That's a very nice move to just push the knight away will he do that no he actually centralizes his rook but now niklesh should play b5 very important move to stop c4 and black has a decent position with the knight very strongly perched here but rook f8 is a very very dubious move he wants to defend f7 so that he can castle long but there is not enough time there he goes king b1 and allows long castling but now the position is very suspect. First c4, good move. Now the knight has to move. So he goes back. But bishop comes in and attacks the queen. Now you can't play bishop d6 as that square is controlled. So you play queen to a5. And now a very good idea is to just move in with a check. Bishop takes and bishop takes. So he gives a check. Bishop takes d6. Bishop takes d6, hitting the rook. The rook has to move. Time-wise, both players are moving very quickly. It's a 3 minute plus 2 second increment. He needs to move the rook. Nikolesh has to think a bit what to do. He goes rook g8 because he sees that g5 is currently not possible as the queen will take the pawn. But Madhvendra shuts off the queen's root. c5 is such a nice move. Yes, you are giving up the d5 square, but then f7 is weak. He goes h4. Once again, threatening g5 and that stare. That is so scary when you play these little youngsters. You know, they stare at you as if you made a huge mistake. But this position is completely lost. One more thing that Madhvendra often does is that he thinks without looking at the board. So he's thinking in his mind, but he's not really looking at the board. You can see there, he's looking here and there. But he has calculated it. G5. And he realizes it's a mistake. You can see it from his face. He takes on G5. Edge G5. And plays Bishop E7. A double attack here. With the Queen looking. And Niklesh has blundered. He's going to lose some material. If he saves the Rook. The Knight is hanging. If he saves the Knight. The Rook is hanging. You can see his expression there. That he didn't see that move coming. But it's too late. Rook g6, he defends the knight, Madhvendra picks up the exchange, king takes, and now bishop c2 hitting the rook, but, uh, okay, the rook can move back, as now the knight protects the knight. A very good idea now is to play rook h1, but he goes queen g3, maybe just looking at this diagonal, Nicholas says, let's trade the queens, so that at least I won't get checkmated with the queens on the board, my king is exposed. Madhvendra has two minutes. He's thinking about not to trade the queens, but then stops in his tracks, thinks a bit, sees that he has time enough to think a bit more and captures the queen, takes, and now f3. Just defending the pawn, knight d5, the material will speak for itself because he is ahead by a complete exchange. Now takes the open file. Very good technique. Knight f4. It's time to move in to Black's position and that is exactly what he does. This young boy is just making all the logical moves. Knight d5 played and maybe it's time to bring the other rook to h5. 
is he going to do that yes he does again logical chess when a hidden material you can simply trade off the rooks with something like knight uh, rook at seven nicholas stops it with knight f6 but now can we double the rooks on the eighth rank if that can be done it can be very strong and he does it he plays rook a8 attacking the a pawn nicholas saves it and the other rook moves in fantastic chess here the two rooks are too powerful knight takes e4 he captures it now the d4 pawn is hanging but what can a knight alone do the two rooks are just extremely strong one minute 25 seconds for madhvendra he is thinking about weaving some kind of a mating net he weaves it rook c8 is a checkmate in one but nikolesh misses it rook c8 checkmate and there you can see nikolesh resigns he didn't see that coming the nine year old boy played impeccable chess here very strong chess and he just was able to beat the scandinavian as he tells uh, nikolesh he should have improved in the following way a very big talent to watch out for madhvendra pratap sharma he is the current under 9 national champion and someone you should definitely keep an eye for in the days to come